Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to talk about the fact that QuickBooks Advance has finally, finally actually been released. And when they sent out the talk about the fact it's been released, I was really excited because the photo or the image shown made me think about something that was looking really interesting. So we're going to talk about that and also look at some of the new features that have actually happened to QuickBooks Advance to see if it's actually something that you should be jumping in on now. Let's go and have a look and see what QuickBooks Advance has for you. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of accounts here at Boffix. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the fact that QuickBooks Advance has finally been launched and is available for everyone to use. But should you use it? Let's go and have a look and see what was announced and find out if we should be using it or not. So Monday, the 26th of September, 2022, we're all presented with this particular email. If anything like me, there was quite a few emails that came flowing in. Now, as you can see here, QuickBooks Advance, it's giving you a nice little left-hand navigation, showing you that they're using the new, the new left-hand navigation, which isn't technically out yet, or is it? Let's go and have a look for QuickBooks Advance and how it works. Um, but it does give us an opportunity here to be able to add some extra bits to our get things done tab so that's something exciting so i'm looking forward to seeing how that works or if it works and also we get to come in to see these particular functionality so get your clients to upgrade today they'll benefit from well back up and restore powerful customization this there is talking about how you can put the customization options onto it for your customized elements i'm like looking forward to that um, and how you can manage your users and get deeper insights because of the key kpis that you can bring in and the backup and restore functionality but we also have also had some extra features as well so we're going to be looking into what those extra features are again when we go to the main page for quickbooks advance our most powerful plan yet gives us an opportunity see this customization option here so we get to play around with that and some new features um, and as you can see as I scroll down those elements we've talked about some deeper insights so having the customizable dashboard so we can play around with that and also the price point down here for your first four months and the tick, 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 tick. So here's our advanced functionality that we have talked about before. Um, manage employees' expenses. That's a tick there. Uh, restore company data. Run advanced reports. Batch invoicing. This is one of the new features we're going to be looking at today. Customizing user permissions, which we've already seen and really do like. And automate workflow and reminders. Some of those have not quite gone to plan on that one but we'll have a look about that everything else though is available in plus as well as you can see it is literally these last ones but there are more options in there which is weird how they haven't uh, brought them into into here um, and brought them into a thing but yeah we'll um, we'll see exactly how that works all right then so let's close this one down and uh, let's close that one down and let's get into our advanced file now, it did show that it was on the business view. So let's see what happens if we switch over to business view. How's that looking these days? Oh, we got a handy more option. Okay, so they were saying on the business view, on our get things done, we can customize this area. Hmm. Show how we're going to. Oh. And it goes green. Have I missed uh, the menu? The bookmarks are the same. That's new though. That little uh, little button there. I don't think that's just QuickBooks Advance. I think that's for all of them. Uh, is it under tasks? No. Is it under workflows? No. Huh. Hmm. See all activity. Oh, goes me to business overview maybe it was this, this screen okay let's see how we can move these screens around oh can't move that one business overview huh 
I can hide. Uh, okay, maybe it's because it was on the accountant's view. Let's go back to the accountant's view to see what we can do there. Oh, switch to accountant's view. Okay, let's do business overview. Uh, not seeing any customization options right just yet. Uh, get things done. Well, there's a green box around here, so it looks like something's there, but it's not letting me customize. Okay. Now, just to make sure there's nothing, maybe the customization option is only on new ones. So let's just set up a brand new file from scratch. Let's see if that's the issue that we're having. <coughs> You also notice we now get a brand new tool tip here, QuickBooks Online Advanced, discover more. I assume it's gonna take the same page, yeah. Same page and it is talking about the fact we have these customization options there. So again, looking forward to playing around with that. Let's add a new client, let's call it QuickBooks Advanced. And uh, let's call it new. So setting up a brand new QuickBooks Advanced here. Let's see how this goes. And again, switch to business view just to make sure because it was on that business view, wasn't it? So let's bring over the business view. Uh, what we're on, get things done tab. Get things done tab, yep. Yeah. So get things done. This tab here, I can hide my setup guide, which I've always been able to do. Keep that on there. Um, oh. Oh, 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 so I've got an option up here. Okay, more actions. No, in fact, no, I'm telling you a lie. That is my, what do you call it one? So, how do I get my new customization options? Customize this menu. Okay, that's interesting. So I've got two different customization options here. So if I go back to my other one, it looks like the customization bar is changing again. So you can see here on both of these, I have the option, I do get a little X box there that makes brings out this lovely little menu. Uh, when I've got menu button here, customize this menu, I get this pop-up, but on the new one, customize this menu, I get this pop-up on the left. So as you can see here, I've got kind of two different customization options for that left-hand panel, uh, which we knew about. Um, which one do I prefer? I actually do really prefer this one. Um, I think this one gives me a lot more customization options. I can quickly move things around. I can get them in the order that I want them to be. I don't have that option here. I can't put them in an order. All I really do get to do is change the actual bookmarks. In fact, that's a good point actually. On the old one, I wasn't able to change the left-hand navigation menu at all. On the new one, I can change my book in and I can put these in as I need to. So yeah, no, I really like this one. I could put payroll all the way at to the top if I wanted to. How about there? What monster would do that? I don't know. Um, but you do have the option to move it to where you'd want to. Um, other than the, there's obviously a fix. So looks like this customization option here is new, and I'm very much ha happy with it. That's not just for advanced, that's for all of them. But ultimately, I don't find the area where I'm supposed to be able to customize this. It goes green. And that's as much as my options are. I'll go to business overview. No options there for be able to bring it in. So that's slightly disappointing to be honest, right? Let's have a look at some of the other new bits though that we have. So we do have now under, I'm gonna go back to my account of view because I'm much, much more comfortable with that one. We do have under sales. Oh, it's gone again, but there was actually an option here um, and I'll show you what it looked like. We had this option here. So if I go into the sales view, notice that they're there, but on this one, you'll notice that I did notice the subscriptions option there. So that's going to be exciting. That's going to be something brand new. So we're looking forward to that coming in. Um, seems like it's gone again at the moment. Let's just see if it's on this side. Let me just... Again, switch to account of view so I can see what's supposed to be there. 
and go to sales and now it's not appearing in that one either okay 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 so that was one of the new things I was hoping to show, but it's not actually there, which is a shame, but it does look like it's exciting and on the left. But one of the new ones though, is so I go in to my sales, let's just add a quick customer. And it's really difficult to find this one if I'm honest with you, but let's just add a customer manually. It's not in the new page. There's nothing here new to say about it there. Well, under new transaction, I do have the multiple invoice option. When I click on multiple invoice, I get this fancy new system here where I can save my invoice. So I can say what the customer is. Let's put this one as Aaron. And then I get to create Aaron as well directly from here. Uh, let's put an email in there if I need to. Uh, test at test.com. I can see what my terms are. I can do my invoice date and I can put product and service in. I assume I don't have any on here. Uh, but let's put hours in there. I can do description, I can do rate. I can, I can do amount. And then I go on to the next one. So invoice 002. In invoice 002, I can say John. Say that one. And I can put a different email address in if I need to. Terms, my invoice date, my hours. And again, something in there and I can go. And then I can keep going. And the idea is that I'm putting multiple invoices at the same time. My invoice types is invoice or sales receipts. That's great. Action is create modified deletes. So we're gonna have a look at how that works in a moment. Uh, but then I've got the option to get paid faster by finishing the setup. And from an options point of view, I can define what I want to see there. More options are coming soon. So yes, deposit, multi currency, discount, and bundle. So we're looking forward to seeing them coming in. Um, and I can put my memos and me methods if I want. And I can move these around as well. So it looks like I can move my uh, terms maybe before my email. Or actually, maybe I don't want my email there. Take that off, press apply. And then you can see this will move things around accordingly. So I quite like that one. Uh, I get the save option at the bottom and a save and print. Let's move me around. Down the bottom I have the save and print and save option. I'm going to do save and print, see what happens. It's going to save it. Maybe it don't print it. Uh, I would, don't actually want it to print, but let's see what happens. Yeah, it's giving, oh, it's giving me one of two. I can scroll through and quickly print my printers up. So we like that. It's Nice and definitely going to be useful. Uh, nice done, create two invoices. How we get to it's weird. I have to go through there. Uh, what about modify? Oh, I like this. So I can bring up multiple ones. I can edit. And I can just bring this page back up again. So maybe that should have been that customer. Maybe that shouldn't have been 500. Maybe this should have been for two quantity. And uh, there's a plus button here. So, oh yeah, I can put multiple on there. So maybe it's not just hours, maybe it's sales. And maybe I want to put in a 50 pound there and bring that in, save and print. Or just save and it brings that in, as you can see, nicely done. So I can really see how useful that is. Again, strange how you have to go to the multiple um, things to get in, but that's not the end of the world in my opinion. It's not going to, I'm not going to completely um, get upset about that. There's your share feedback button up there if you need to. And then we also have these shortcuts as well. So we've got to open focus row menu. Okay, so Control Alt and M uh, to move up, to move down, uh, move left, move right. To use arrow keys, I'm going to check the list below and to save changes, it's control M. So what is the row menu? Control, Alt, Option, and M. Control, Alt, Option, M. Control, Alt, Option, M. Am I pressing the wrong control? The wrong Alt? I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't matter what I seem to press. Oh, was that that came up then? Oh, where else should this invoice go? Oh. Um, oh, okay, 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 figured it. All right, so we get the option to duplicate invoice for multiple customers. Ah, John, next. 
I like that. Um, how else do we get out? Oh, there's the buttons on the left hand side. Okay, so these buttons here, you can add a new line item, duplicate the invoice, new line and delete the invoice. Okay, I'm liking this. I think I think we can definitely find some great use out of that one. So that's, that's not all. There is another update as well that I'm really excited about. So let me go back to the other account that we have. And on this one, it's now, if I find a report, and I find a report I really like. So let's do profit and loss detail. Well, there's not much detail on here because there's no data. Um, but you'll notice that on the right hand side, if I go to go and do the export option, I have my option to export to Excel, PDF, but now to Google Sheets as well. So I click on Google Sheets. You get to then export faster, save time or one step export. Customize reports with your team so they collaborate in real time and save reports in one spot. Make reports easy to find. Let's get started. We need permission to connect, so I'm just going to allow that. Let's actually put some data in to make this actually worthwhile. Oh, oh, let's come through anyway. But as you can see, this has now come through to see. Now, one of the things that I am a little bit disappointed is that this report is set in stone. So 1st of January, 1st of October 2022. So if I go and add something doesn't matter what i'm going to add let's go and add and put the period in question just do any invoice will do save and close and then what you'll notice is that if i went back to that report which was a profit loss detail same report comes up now shows 500 pound this report hasn't updated. And that's to me the bit where this kind of loses that benefit. I was hoping this would be a live report, bring data in, keep it clean and tidy. It's not. So, you know, you just got to remember that, that it is just going to be a static report. Yes, you're going to be able to have multiple people working on it, things like that. But it would be nice if you could actually bring that data in. But remember, we've got people who can do that for you, like live flow. And that's it. A quick look at the new updates. And now that QuickBooks Advance is finally live, what it means. Um, as you see, the backup is working seamlessly as it looks. There's still some bugs on that new batch update, which I'm hopefully they'll get sorted sooner rather than later. But overall, yeah, it's um, I'm loving QuickBooks Advance. I've found it really useful for clients. The workflow and automations do definitely need some, some looking at, in my opinion. There's definitely some missed opportunities there and some bugs that don't make things don't quite work. And I was hoping for the full launch, these sort of things would have been fixed by now. But still time and hopefully we can get them done and fixed and everything can be looking good and we can start looking at some of the other features that i know should be coming like the customization options and that whole workflow view that i'm hoping comes here that we get in america because i think that could be really really powerful but with that i think that's the everything that i wanted to talk about today about quickbooks online Vance. remember if you're looking to get quickbooks online events don't forget that we sell it over at e-store so use my links below have a look there get yourself some savings then you make sure that you're making the most out of QuickBooks Online. My name has been Aaron Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do. Let me know below, are you liking QuickBooks Online Advance? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know if that's something that you've been making the most out of, because I really do think that there's definitely some opportunity to make the most out of it. So please do let us know below. With that, all I have left to say is don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. And I will see you next video. Bye for now.